Good morning, friends. Today I set up a few fine motor ideas that you guys could do from home. So we have an ice cube tray. And um, at school we'd probably use cotton balls, but I don't have, or pom-poms, but I don't have either one of those here. So we're just using some of Eliana's ponytails. Put them in some small compartments. An ice cube tray works well, a muffin tray, um, really any kind of container. I gave Ellie a couple small spoons that she can use to kind of scoop them out. And then I set a wipe container that we can use to fill up. And she's using um, her fingers to pick them up and then actually even extending my idea to put them on her fingers, which is still a great fine motor skill. You could extend the idea by talking about the colors. You could count them. You could wear them like rings. There's a few barrettes in here that you could use your fingers to open and close. So yeah, just kind of scooping and dumping. It's just kind of hard to do with one hand. And then, um, Taking them over here, balancing, and then just dumping them in. And then it's fun to open them up and let them count how many they've done, pour them out, and start over. Just a little fun idea that you can do at home. I have two other things set up. All right, the next idea is just some sensory bags. I have gallon Ziploc bags. I thought I would do shaving cream in one and water, oil, and food coloring in the other. I'm going to go ahead and pause it to make them because it's kind of hard to do with one hand. But the idea with these bags is less is more in case they bust them open because it can get kind of messy. But if they don't, it's really fun, um, clean sensory idea. All right. I got the bags all filled up. The trick with this, like I said, less is more. And then when you're closing it, try to get all the air out so there's not a huge bubble for them to um, pop. But at school, we'd usually tape them down to the table. Um, I think with one to two kids, you wouldn't really necessarily need to do that. But another fun thing to do with these is to, if you have a low window, hang them in the window and they look pretty cool when the sun shines in. But you can work on your letter writing, just using your fingers to make some shapes and lines. And then the other bag is just shaving cream and I decided to put a little bit of um, blue food coloring in. You wanna make sure that they're sealed tight or you will have a mess that you weren't planning for. But same thing with this one, you could make handprints, you can write your letters. Practice spelling out your name or just using your fingers to move it around. You could even, with the smaller friends, talk about the crinkle sounds that it makes as you pick it up and crinkle it up. Talk about how the colors are mixing in with the shaving cream. All right, I have one last idea. All right, and this is our last fine motor activity. I put these up on the table. Whoops, so go ahead and sit down. Um, each block is just taped and you could use your fingers to pull the tape off. You could uh, use different tape. I just use masking tape. Um, if you want it to be a little bit harder, maybe duct tape or painter's tape. And then set a bowl aside for them to fill up. Put it in your bowl. Ew, 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 is it sticky? Ew. Can you get the rest of them? And you could really use any um, any toys for this. I've seen animals done. You kind of make like a free the animal game. No. Keep pulling it off. They really have to use their fingers and fine motor skills to get that tape off. All right. I hope you have a great Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye.